This is Kenneth Duran of the Los Angeles Times, and this is my DVD pick of the week. You know, things look pretty bleak these days, so I decided why not highlight two new DVDs that are fun, that are just a treat to experience, that'll take your mind off whatever you're worrying about. First on the list, it's called Sesame Street, 50 Years and Counting. That's right, it's been 50 years since Sesame Street appeared on TV, and this two-disc collection from Shout Factory shows us the best, the funniest, the most endearing moments of those entire 50 years. Hi-ho, Kermit the Frog here, and this is a mystery box. You see, if anybody can guess from the clues I give what is in this box, then they can keep what is in the box. Is it cookie? Uh, no, it is not a cookie. Bye-bye. Oh, but wait a second, Cookie Monster. Wah, wah, wah. There are clues. Well, who care about clues without cookie? Me want cookie. Huh, no cookie, no guessing game from clues. Arrivederci, Frog. But, 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 wait, wait a second, wah, Cookie wah, wah, Monster. Wah, 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 come, wah, wah. come back here, wah. you see? Uh, I'll tell you what I'll do. Okay. If you guess what is in the box, yeah. I'll give you a cookie. It's a horse. No. It's a cow. Mm. It's a cotton no, ball. No. It's a pogo stick. No, no. It's a rump roast. No, 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 no. It's no. a moose. No, 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 no. Those, it's those, a, those well, are those are wild guesses. Well, me wild about cookies. Yes, <sighs> but you haven't guessed right. Now, now maybe if you listen to the clues. Okay, okay. Me all ears. Okay. Mm. What okay. first clue? Okay, the first clue yeah. is that it is something to eat. It's a cookie. No, it's not a cookie. Not a cookie. Mm -mm. Uh, give me a second clue. Okay, the second clue is that it is something round. A cookie. No, it's not a cookie. Not a cookie. Mm -mm. Sorry, third clue. Third clue. Just thought it might be cookie off chance. Yes, no, it's not. The, the color of this thing is orange. Something to eat mm -hmm. that is round mm -hmm. and orange. Mm -hmm. It's a cookie. No, it is not a cookie. Just thought one last chance, you know? No, it's not a no. cookie. Okay, um, uh, uh, I'll make give up. What? How can you give up? It's something to eat that's round and orange. It's an orange. It's an orange. Me like that fourth clue. Is it an orange? Of course it's an orange. I oh just told boy. you it was an orange. Me guess right. Me no. get cookie. Give me cookie. No, you don't get a cookie. What? I told you what it was. I told you it was an orange. You didn't guess it right. Frog. What? You know, life, life not all guessing games, frog. Sometimes. We have to care about the friends, especially friends who love cookies. Friends who love cookies so much, they play silly guessing games because maybe, maybe just maybe a frog, a very handsome frog who has cookie will give best best friend who no can live without cookies. Give that best friend a cookie. But if friendship mean nothing, Okay, okay, okay. Here's 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 your cookie. One measly cookie. Mm. Speech like that deserve at least five cookies. I only had one cookie. Okay, in that case, me settle. <laughs> the other DVD I'm highlighting is called Local Hero. It's from a Scottish director named Bill Forsyth. It was first put out in 1983. It's out now in a wonderful Criterion Collection edition. This is the story of an American played by Peter Riegert who goes to Scotland, to a small town in Scotland. He's supposed to be a rapacious businessman, but something about the ambiance in this town gets to him. The results charmed American audiences in 1983, and they will charm you today. Thanks, Murdoch. All I need just now is you're okay to negotiate. I've got the Knox man on the hook. Just give her the time to land him in style. Now, he's got a bag full of money. So, all right. so stay calm and let me handle it. I need your patience and your faith. Trust me. Would they, would they be wanting to buy a boat too, Mr. Lockhart? Gideon, if things go well, they'll have to buy their own shirts back off us this time next week. <laughs> now, stay calm. Trust me. Gordon, I'd like to see a short prayer now, since we're all here. Fine, Murdo. Uh, a quiet please, everyone. Murdo wants to say a short prayer. Lord. It's the Yank and the other one. They're coming across to the church. I saw them. Quiet please, everyone. Murdo, can you deal with them? Oh, God. Just head them off. 
Not a sound, please. Oh, God. This is where the canteen will be. What's that? It's where you have lunch, you know, and dinner. Oh, commissary. Yeah, that kind of thing. Oh, very nice. Good morning. Can I help you? Reverend McPherson. Yes. My name's McIntyre, and this is Olson. McIntyre? You're not Scottish, are you? I'm an American, actually. I'm not a Scotsman, either. I'm an African. Ah. I came here as a student minister and didn't ever get away again. What can I do for you? We're, um, we're here on kind of a mission. Same here. <laughs> well, we're in the way of wanting to acquire some real estate in the area, sir, and we'd like to establish relationships with those who have land hereabouts. You want to buy my church? Well, not as a going concern. They practice here. As long as they're bombing the beach, they can't be bombing anywhere else. It's kind of comforting. <laughs> ah. So far as your business here is concerned, all I can recommend is that you talk to a Mr. Orcott. He looks after the interests of the church, in temporal matters at least. I understand. Sounds like good advice, Reverend. I know I don't have to ask you, sir, but could you treat our conversation with confidence for the meantime? Oh, I'll give you my word that I'll be as discreet as the next man, Mr. McIntyre. Thank you. But news does tend to travel fast around here. I understand, sir. The Reverend says news travels fast around here. Mm -hmm. Don't know why I'm here. More of a telex man. Could solve this whole deal up in one afternoon over the wires. Yeah, that's the kind of person I am. I need electricity. Don't know about those jets. They really spoil a very nice area. Uh, it's a crime. Yeah, 